I've got a Minn Kota XI5 GPS trolling motor here with a handheld remote so I can run my trolling motor anywhere in the boat. Typically I fish in the back of the boat so I can run it from back there and I'm not held down to using a foot pedal. Also it's a lot easier on my knees. I bought this 60 inch shaft so I can fish really really rough water and my motor won't come out of the water. And then this is all adjustable so if I'm fishing really skinny water I can make it shorter. It doesn't matter. So if you're going to get a handheld remote controlled trolling motor get the longest shaft that you can. Um, it's got spot lock on it where I can just hit lock and it'll hold me. The GPS will hold me in that general area. Um, the motor guide is a little bit more accurate than the previous Minn Kota that I had as far as spot lock. The GPS is in the base instead of the head so it knows what position your boat's in. It takes that into consideration into the calculations of your spot lock I'm assuming. Um, I'll spot lock you know when I'm out like on a hump or something in the middle of the lake, I'll hit spot lock and fish the hump. Or in the Missouri River, I'll spot lock in the current instead of throwing out my anchor. Uh, 80 pound is probably not enough for the channel of the Missouri River. And a lot of times I'll kick my big motor in gear and put my trolling motor on spot lock just to get it to hold in, you know, four mile an hour current. Uh, but it, it beats dragging around an anchor. And then another nice function on this motor guide is when you're on spot lock and you want to move your spot lock position over five feet, like say I'm working a hunt, I'll just keep hitting this arrow. If you hit the right arrow, it moves it over five feet to the right, the boat over five feet to the right, same with the left forward. And I can just keep working over an area by, you know, five foot increments at a time. Whereas the men coded didn't have that function. One nice function I use quite a bit on the GPS type trolling motor is heading lock. If I'm trolling and I want to maintain a certain heading, I can hit heading lock on my remote and it will keep the boat pointed and trolling in that direction. And then you can pay attention to what you're doing instead of worrying about running your trolling motor. And then also I use it when I'm drifting the Missouri River. I'm actually going backwards, but I'll still use heading lock to maintain boat position and heading on the trolling motor and then you're not constantly having to fight getting your boat pointed in the right direction it'll pretty much do it for you one bad thing about the motor guide is though the remote doesn't tell you the status of what you're doing and my men cut a remote did um, and i'm getting used to this remote so I hit the wrong button all the time. Well, I can't see what button I hit because it, it doesn't report to me on the handheld. I have to look at the base of the motor at the status indication lights, which I'm always in the back of the boat. I can't see the dang lights. However, this trolling motor will integrate with my Lowrance so I can have all the status show up on my unit. I just haven't did it yet. I'm waiting for a day where I can't fish this winter. Uh, on the weekend and then I'll run the wiring. And I have a ram mount to hold it steady because if you don't then it'll do this when you're driving down the road and drive you nuts. For my trolling motor batteries I got two normal lead acid marine deep cycle batteries up front in the front compartment. I had to build a stand to put them in. Um, I've had better luck with the lead acid batteries than I have with the gel type batteries and they're the large 34 series batteries and then to charge them I have an onboard charger below the dash and I just leave it plugged in whenever I'm at home. For my anchor I use a river grapple anchor uh, from a small company in Gasconade, Missouri called River Grapple I believe. Uh, I bought it online it's very reasonable. Um, I, I can pretty much anchor anywhere I want with this. I anchor right in the middle of the channel of the Missouri River um, and gosh, it gripped so good that it, it about yanked me out of the boat the first time I used it. Um, so now I'm prepared whenever I throw it out that it's going to grip quick. And then I have on the other end of my anchor rope, I, I have a jug that I'm throwing it out and I need to cry uncle. I just throw out the buoy and then spin my boat back around and pick it up. Anchor can go directly, the anchor rope can go directly in the middle boat for when you're anchoring the truck. It's 
It's kind of hard to see because I got this big trolling motor in the way, but then this top of the plate right here versus, you know, my previous boat didn't have, have something directly in the center to center the anchor rope on. It's pretty handy when you're fishing really, really heavy current. Whereas my, let me start over. One thing I